Welcome back to the Beginner's Guide to the Modern Theory of Polarization, a series of modules to help you understand how the electric polarization is defined, calculated and measured in bulk periodic solids. Brought to you by Schrodinger's Kittens Productions. Here we'll discuss the solutions to the exercises of Module 2. Our first exercise question in Module 2 was to write out the polarization values of the one-dimensional non-polar chain, which we showed can be Q over 2 plus N times Q, where Q is the charge on the ions and N is any integer. Let's start with N equal to 0, which gives us polarization P equal Q over 2. Then N is equal to minus 1, which gives us P is equal to minus Q over 2. N equals 1 and 2 gives us P equal to 3 halves and 5 halves, 5 halves Q. And N equal to minus 2 and minus 3 gives us P is equal to minus 3 halves and minus 5 halves Q, and so on. We can notice two things about our list of numbers. First, that they are equally spaced, with each neighbouring pair separated by the polarisation quantum Q. And second, that the list has a centre of inversion at p is equal to zero, with all the numbers to the left of zero on the negative axis being equal in magnitude to those the same distance away from zero on the positive axis to the right. The property of being equally spaced means that the polarisation values form a lattice, and we see that for our non-polar centrosymmetric chain, the polarization lattice is also centrosymmetric. In our second exercise for this module, we were asked to calculate the polarization difference between the polar and the nonpolar chains using two different choices of unit cell. Let's remind ourselves first of the results we obtained for the nonpolar chain, where we showed that this unit cell has polarization equal to Q over 2, and this one has polarization minus Q over 2. Now for the polar chain, in which the ions have dimerized so that their nearest neighbor bond length is D, then this unit cell has polarization Q times D over A, and for this one, P is equal to QD over A minus Q, where A here is the length of the unit cell. Taking the difference between the polarizations for the polar and the nonpolar chains, in both cases we get Q times D over A minus a half. So we can conclude that the difference in polarization between two periodic systems is the same no matter which unit cell we use to calculate it. Now you're ready to move on to module three in the series, where we will continue our discussion of the polarization quantum. Thanks for listening.